ready. All righty. Hi, everyone. This is Casey Getz, joined by Mike Castle, the interim head coach for volunteer. And, Coach, let's just start right with that. I mean, it's mid-June, right before the dead period. Coach McMillan leaves. And now fill me in how you take over as the interim head coach. Well, uh, got a phone call. You know, Jesse was going to go back to DB where he uh, played and coached. And uh, we talked about if I'd be interested and uh, – I'd always thought when I came here that I would finish as an assistant, but uh, I felt like to keep our program um, w without having to struggle that quick into a, to a season that maybe we would, I could take that and uh, go with it and keep our kids on an even keel and not change the whole thing as far as offense, defense. And, and um, so uh, was able to, you know, interview and took that job and uh, been very lucky with with the assistance I've been able to keep that was with us with Coach McMillan here also. What was it like for the players? I mean, any change is hard, but especially that late in the process. But at least it's a familiar face, somebody they know. How important was that? I think that was I think that was the key uh, to have somebody that that they were familiar with. You know, we had four assistants plus myself that had been here before. Uh, that helped a little bit, not having to change a lot. And they knew how to handle being around us. Um, so it, it really worked out so far so good. How about what you have on the field the last couple of years? You've taken your lumps and volunteer, but it was a young team. Now those guys have those scars. Are they looking forward to maybe handing out some punishment? I, I think they're, they're excited. Um, I think, you know, a couple of games last year, uh, we were right there to the end. We, we'd have a penalty here or a turnover. And um, like I told them before, you know, we're start, we started to kid a quarterback that was a freshman. And so he's played 10. So that gives you a little big experience. Our whole offensive line is back from last year uh, and just have still just have one senior out of the starting five. So we've got some kids, you know, they're sophomores and juniors that have started every game since they've been here. Is that true for the coaching? When you say the best part about an underclassman is they eventually become an upperclassman? Well, they had, well, they didn't really have a lot of choice, you know. They uh, they had, they stepped in and had to start playing, and it's like I tell them, you know, it's it's a big difference when you're 14 years old playing against the 18 year old, you know. Sort of like now you got all these college guys. You look and some of them are 18, and they got these guys who are 25 and 26 still playing. So uh, experience, uh, wisdom. Uh, just the, their development, you know, and all of them have got stronger and bigger. So uh, we're hoping uh, that we can make a difference and uh, play hard. And I told them, you put, give 100%, that's all you got. You've been here at Volunteers and Assistance since 2015, so nine years. Kind of let me know, what was your impression or first impression of the Cherokee volunteer rivalry? What did you maybe think of it from the outside, but then when you got here and experienced it, did it change at all? Uh, it's a little more intense than I thought it would be. Um, uh, it's sort of like the, some people will tell you, it's not very important as long as you win one game, you know. But um, you have to try to get that out of the kids' heads because uh, you don't want to just go for one game. But um, for 364 days, you want to make sure you're on that, that W side. We're really excited to be broadcasting that game on Friday Night Rivals. I think it was five years ago we did this game down at Cherokee High School. This year you guys will be hosting, and I was really amazed at the atmosphere of that game. No matter what the records are, the fans show up for that game. It is an intense rivalry, so really exciting to feature that once again on television this year. It'll be, a, I mean, it'll be, it should be a great ball game. Uh, they've got a good quarterback coming back, and uh, we've got a kid that's going to be a sophomore. Uh, we think we're going to be pretty good up front, um, but we're going. Hopefully, we'll be a little more, a little more aggressive, a little more hard, uh, and try to run the football at them a little bit more. What's it like? Just you mentioned that that's the one game everybody wants to win, but in that atmosphere, when you get to play them at home here, what is that like on a Friday night here at Falcon Stadium when Cherokee's on, on the other sideline? Uh, well, with the stadium, you know the crowd's behind you all the time, so you're hearing things you're not doing well, you're hearing things they're doing well. Uh, so you get the brunt of it all, but um, the, whole, the whole atmosphere is just, you know, it's sort of, 
I, you don't want to say it's sort of like going to uh, Tennessee, Alabama, but it's sort of got that same they, where they just they want to beat each other pretty bad. All right, we will see that game October the 25th when Cherokee comes to volunteer on Friday Night Rivals. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thank you.